We made it to the end of the week, and we got two cash giveaways. Let's talk some basketball. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back in to another episode for Just a Bet Outside. I'm your host, Steven, and we are here on a Friday to talk some more basketball and the week strong. We're going to go into our bets recap again. It has just been the hardest couple weeks of my entire betting life. I will say that. So we'll get into it and talk about uh, what happened and all that. But uh, thank goodness it is Friday. I uh, finally get a date with my wife with no kids tomorrow, uh, later on Friday night. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully you guys have some big plans this weekend or just to relax and enjoy some sports, whatever it is. But because we have been struggling so bad, I feel like I'm letting you guys down the last couple of weeks. We've lost all that profit we had the first three months of the season. We got two giveaways. So you guys deserve it. You guys have been an awesome community. Um, all you have to do is this. Like the video and leave a comment below. It doesn't matter what you say in the comment. Just leave a comment. We're going to pick two random winners, and you each get 30 bucks. So we're just going to do a little giveaway from us to you, a uh, little gift saying thank you. Uh, we appreciate the support. So that's what we got going on today. So leave that comment, um, and then we will announce the winner on the Monday video. So quick reminder, American League preview video and best bets. You know that video is already out, so go check it out. National League video will be out next week. We are excited because baseball is right around the corner, baby. That's right. So before we get into it, we got some dad jokes because we got to lighten the mood before we start talking about my bets again. So here we go. Dad joke number one. What do you call a reluctant potato? A hesitator. Uh, that's pretty good. These are both from my wife again, by the way. All right, last one. What hides in the bathroom at parties? The party pooper. That's disgusting. All right, here we go. In this video, yesterday's recap, and then we're going to talk the big men. Defenses that give up the most points, rebounds, and assists to the center position. And then we're going to give you some best bets, and we are trying desperately to get that sweep and have a winning day. Um, and then we're going to end it with the bets recap. Of course, there will be a Friday parlay as well. So hit that like button. Leave a comment below. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We got baseball coming up, talking basketball all the way through to the finals, and we talk NFL as well. So we got a great community here in the Discord, which, by the way, is free. Click that link below if you want to join. And uh, it's just awesome, and we have a lot of fun day in and day out. So that's what we got. Let's get going, and it starts with the recap. All right, guys, I am not going to go on any rants today. I'm kind of just worn down from how we've been losing and what's been going on. Uh, but let's go over this, guys. Teaser. Heat plus 10. We got that winner. They almost won the game. It was a close game, but they, they stayed within the 10. And then the Warriors minus two, guys. Big favorites at home, and uh, they lose. The Bulls just, uh, they couldn't stop the Bulls, to be honest with you, especially Vucevic, and the Warriors lost the game outright. Jamal Murray, 32.5 PRAs, had a horrendous shooting night. Not horrendous, but bad. It was like 7 for 17 or 7 for 8, 18. And uh, he had 33, I believe, with like a minute left. So he may have ended up with one or two more. But either way, barely got over. But even on a bad shooting night, we'll take it. This one is just, again, I'm not going to rant. It's just, I, it's, I'm laughing at this point. It's Jimmy Butler over five and a half assists. And if you guys think these are, you know, terrible reads and I don't know what I'm talking about, you know, that's obviously your opinion. Uh, but for me, myself, when I evaluate my picks, there's obviously been some bad reads in there. Um, but this is not one of them. I mean, Jimmy Butler has been just diamond it up for the last like month or a few weeks. He has four assists at halftime. Four. Picks up his fifth early in the third quarter. Here we go. Might get it, maybe even get to 10. Who knows, right? How about none the rest of the way? Just zero. Just decided there that was it. And we got hooked again for the 85th time in the last three weeks. And then Rudy Gobert over 15 and a half RAs. He played 40 minutes and didn't get one dime. Didn't get one. But he had 14 rebounds with seven minutes left. The number one rebounder in the NBA. All you need is two more with seven minutes to go in a competitive game. What does he do? Doesn't touch one more rebound. Not one. I mean, that's a terrible fourth quarters by Gobert and Butler. Um, again, easily could have been a 4-0, maybe just 3-1 in one night if you don't count the Warriors even, even though that was a close game right to the end. Um, but easily, easily could have been 3-1 night. But woulda, coulda, shoulda. Who cares? I got to get some winners. And we end one and three. That's the overall record. And after three months of profit, for the very first time, we have gone to the minus. So that's it. This is, I'm going to consider this rock bottom. And now we're going to turn it up. Um, I'm super transparent with you guys every single day, as you guys know, in all sports. 
Um, I'm not hiding from anything. Uh, I do like my reads. We've hit a lot of leans, hit some double doubles, things like that throughout the year. Hopefully you guys get some winners with the research help that we give out. But uh, either way, we got to get some winners and I'm confident and I'm going to stay true to the process and uh, hope the NBA isn't as crazy as it was today because we just saw the Bulls beat the Warriors. The Spurs beat the Kings in Sacramento without Wembenyama. There was stuff happening absolutely everywhere that is just insane. The NBA is just like a jungle every every single day. You just don't know what you're going to get. But either way, that's the bets recap for uh, yesterday. Now, before we get into those best bets, let's talk the big men. All right, we start with the defense is giving up the most points to the center position, and we got three matchups. The Blazers playing Alperin Shangun, a guy is really hard to trust, for the Houston Rockets, averaging 22.3 points per game. Blazers giving up almost 26. And then we got the Oklahoma City Thunder giving up 25.55 points per game. And Bam Adebayo, 21 points per, 3.3 points per game. And then there at the bottom, the Rockets are playing DeAndre Ayton of the Portland Trail Blazers. Um, and we got a good matchup there too, obviously. DeAndre Ayton averaging 20 points per game in the last 15 days. Rockets giving up over 24. So, and then we got other ones for the weekend. If you want to just save this page, take a screenshot. Wet Bananas is there. Porzingis, Anthony Davis, the usual guys. How about Jaron Jackson? 26.8 leading the way in the last 15 days. So, that is the points. Let's go check out the rebounds now. And we got the Cavaliers facing a guy who's in my doghouse right now. Mr. Rudy Gobert or Gobert if you don't want to pronounce it the right way. Um, he's averaging 15.3 rebounds per game. Yeah, not yesterday. Uh, anyways, Cavs giving up 18 rebounds per game. How about the Thunder? 18.08. But to be honest, if you look at that Thunder number, uh, one game was to the number one guy over there, Yusuf Nurkic, when he had 31 rebounds. So both of those numbers are a little skewed. I just want to make sure I point that out so you guys have all the info. Um, but that's the rebounds. Let's go check out the assists now, and there are no matchup with center assists, which isn't a huge deal anyways. But we got Jokic leading the way with 10 assists per game, Sabonis, Wet Bananas, Shangun, Draymond, Yusuf Nurkic, so on and so on. So Kings giving up the most is the only team giving up over six assists per game to the center position. So there we go. Take some screenshots. Hopefully that helps you get some winners today and over the weekend. If you are new, we do a new position every single day of the week. Point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. So um, you can go back and check those videos if you want to see what's been going on. And uh, we do the last 15 days. So that's what we got for the research help today. Now it's time to talk some best bets. All right, this segment of the video is brought to you by Better Bet. BTR Bet, it is the best place to find, track, analyze, and share your bets. If you are serious about betting, click that link below and go check it out. It's incredible. You can keep track of all your bets, links to all the sports books. We will have a short video on that early next week uh, to go over all the details of that. But let's start out with bet number one. We got the New Orleans Pelicans at the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, the Pelicans, minus seven. Total in this game is 225. Uh, let's talk against spread numbers. Pelicans, 34, 27, and 1. Uh, 17, 13, and 1 ATS. Sixers, 33, and 29 against the spread. 17, and 16 ATS at home. Obviously, their numbers are skewed with Joel Embiid. Um, but over under, Pelicans, 33, 28, and 1 to the under. Sixers, 35, and 27 to the over. Now, my best bet in this game, I'm taking a side. Give me the Pellies, minus 7 at minus 110. And I'm going to start out with a wild stat right off the bat. Here we go. In the Pelicans' last 22 wins, not games, in the Pelicans' last 22 wins, this is insane. And we've talked about a little earlier this year how every one of their games seems to be a blowout. 21 of their last 22 wins have been by 7 or more points. 21 of their last 22 wins have been by 7 or more. 17 of those 22 wins have been by 10 or more points. What that's saying is when they win, they crush them. Um, I mean, 10 and 8 isn't really crushing, but for the most part, they've had some humongous wins. So um, we've talked about those in NFL trends and stuff like that. But um, if you think the Pelicans are going to win, why not just take this uh, the spread? Because they're doing that at like over a 90% clip, just covering or winning by 7 or more every time. But Pelicans, let's just talk about how they're playing right now. And it's unbelievable. Defensive rating, um, ever since I picked the Mavericks to maybe win this division as a future bet, Pelicans have been playing really well. Um, especially defensively. They're absolutely suffocating teams right now. Uh, number one defensive rating in the last 10 games. By the way, the 76ers have the fourth worst defensive rating. 
The Pelicans, number three in points allowed, 103.7. That's right. They are a top three defense in points allowed. 76ers are 17th. This is all the last 10 games. And also the Pelicans are number two and fewest points allowed in the paint. Um, and then on offense, how about the number seven offensive rating in the last 10 games? They also have the second, they are the second highest scoring team with points off turnovers. They have the fourth most fast break points. This team is rolling. Obviously, fast break points, points off turnovers kind of go hand in hand. You got guys like Herbert Jones and guys that can just play defense, get steals, and get out and transition and things like that. But there are just so many mismatches in this game. You got Ingram, you got Zion, and you got CJ McCollum, you got Herbert Jones. All those guys are now going up against the 76ers team. In case you do not know, will not have Tyrese Maxey still. Obviously, Embiid is out. It's going to be Tobias Harris, Buddy Heal, Nicholas Batum. Those are the guys that have to try to win and beat these wing-type players and Zion and Ingram and all these guys. It's just such a mismatch. I think the Pelicans are going to bully them around the court. I think they win easy. And, I well, first of all, I think they win. And like I said, 21 of their 22 wins have been by seven or more points. Not the only reason I'm taking this bet. Um, it's just how they're playing. I mean, the Pelicans are just a much better team right now. They are a well-oiled machine. It's kind of nice to see them play actually healthy for at least a little stretch of the NBA season because that doesn't happen very often. But my first best bet is the New Orleans Pelicans at minus seven. Um, I like it at seven and a half too because I'm. It looks like it may move there at some point pretty soon too. So that's my first best bet. Let's go check out bet number two. All right, bet number two takes us out to Memphis, Tennessee. We got the Grizzlies hosting the Atlanta Hawks. Hawks minus three in this game total, a low two fifteen. Uh, Hawks against the spread, it's awful. Twenty one and forty one ATS, ten and nineteen ATS on the road. Grizzlies thirty one and thirty two ATS, twelve and nineteen against the spread at home. Uh, totals, uh, let's go Hawks, 33-28-1 and 28 and 1 to the over. And the Grizzlies, pretty much the opposite, 34-28-1 and 1 to the under. So uh, if I had to lean aside, I don't even know. I mean, it's the Hawks and Grizzlies. Do I need to say anything more? Probably lean Grizzlies at home. Uh, but my best bet in this game is an under. Give me DeJounte Murray under 23.5 points at minus 113 on FanDuel. So in the 11 games without Trey Young this season, he has gone under this. In seven of those 11 games. So numbers are on our side. Doesn't mean that's a winner. But um, under and four of the last five games as well. And some of the reason is because other players have stepped up for the Atlanta Hawks. Sadiq Bey, last three games, averaging 20 points. He's taking more shots. He's being efficient on the offensive end. DeAndre Hunter is back. Bogdanovich um, is there to score and hit some shots in the games that I do not bet him when he scored five points just recently. But um, I know Jalen Johnson is out. But I think this line is kind of baked in with that. Um a 23 and a half just seems a little bit high. Um, Jalen Johnson, they only have the last game really, but he played 15 minutes before getting hurt, and DeJounte Murray in that game scored 18 points. He now faces the Grizzlies. Grizzlies are a bottom 10 pace team, which means this game is going to be slow, and the Grizz have also given up the 10th fewest points per game to the point guard position in the last 30 days. Um, they've Recently, they've held, game, held players like James Harden to 7 points, CJ McCollum to 11 points, Dame to 24 Obviously, right at this line, but Dame is quite a bit better scorer than uh, Mr. DeJounte Murray. So um, I do think this line is a little bit high. We're going to talk about a slower pace game than the Hawks are used to. Um, and you have a low total for a reason. There's not going to be a ton of points. Obviously, when you have an under, uh, blowouts and uh, injuries, those actually work in your advantage and foul trouble and things like that. But I just think this line is a little bit too high uh, with other players scoring, and he's kind of distributing the ball. He still takes a lot of shots, so I'm not going to sit here and say he doesn't. He hasn't shot very efficiently. So, I mean, obviously he could get scorching hot um, and, you know, go over this line. But like I said, he's gone under in seven of the 11 games. So just because Trey is out doesn't mean he becomes this 30-point scorer or anything. So give me DeJounte Murray under 23 and a half points as my second best bet. And now it's time for the Friday Parlay. All right, it has been a struggle with the Friday parlay this year, that's for sure. We would be up units if we did not do these Friday parlays. But you know what? That just means we're due. We're that much more dangerous. We've had so many two out of three legs. Um, but you know what? That's how it goes on parlays. So that's why we don't bet a ton of them. But here we go. This Friday parlay I feel good about. Plus 305 on DraftKings. Give me Buddy Heald under five and a half assists. Miles Bridges, double-double. And Damian Lillard, 20-plus points. Let's start out with Buddy Heald under five and a half assists. I am losing my voice. Sorry about that, but uh, it is late, almost midnight. Um, under five and a half assists is an alt line. It's at four and a half. If you just want to take under four and a half, I don't mind that either. It's just its own single bet. 
Um, obviously, you do not have to tail any of these. Um, I'm probably, you know, you're probably scared to tail me with the streak we're on, but we will turn this around. Um, but Buddy Heald, he's playing the Pelicans. That's what we already talked about. Pelicans average allowing the fourth fewest assists to the shooting guard position in the last 30 days. Like I already mentioned, they are a very tough defense, one of the top five defenses in the NBA right now. Uh, Buddy Heal has gone under five and a half assists in six of the last seven games. And in the last seven games, he's averaging only 5.7 potential assists. Now, you expect someone to get about 50 to 60% of potential assists into assists. If he's averaging 5.7, he's got he's to gotta get six potential assists this game and convert 100% of those. Um, it's just going to be too tough. I think he goes under four and a half, to be honest with you, but I'll go under five and a half in this first leg. Second leg, Miles Bridges, double, double the riskiest leg of them all. It's pretty much a bet for him to just get 10 plus rebounds. So the line is set right now, um, at nine and a half, I believe it is juiced, um, for the over rebounds. And, uh, so I'm just going to take his double, double. I trust that he's going to get 10 plus points, but he's facing the wizards. One of the worst rebounding teams in NBA history. They are horrendous. Um, he had a double double versus them earlier this year, way back earlier this season. Not a big deal, um, but he has a double double in six of his last ten games, and he also has one rebound short in one of those games. So one rebound away from seven of his last ten games, double double. It doesn't get a better matchup than this one, that's for sure. And he's coming off a really bad game um, when he faced one of the best defenses in the Orlando Magic and just did not play well at all. Didn't shoot well. Didn't rebound much. The game was ugly. Um, so I think he's going to bounce back here. So give me Miles Bridges, double-double. And then Damian Lillard, 20-plus points. The line here is set at 24-and-a-half. I just need 20 points for him against the Lakers, who are absolutely awful defending the perimeter and defending guards. They have just not been pretty. Um, they're not really making adjustments. It's just I don't know what they're doing over there and what Darvin Ham is doing. But um, Lakers allow the fifth most points to the point guard position in the last 30 days as well. You know Dame wants to play against LeBron and AD, and he wants to show out. Um, Giannis is questionable. Um, I think he plays in this one, uh, or maybe he was probable. Either way, I think he plays. Um, it doesn't really – well, it doesn't matter. If he doesn't play, he should easily hit this, but I don't see a problem with him hitting it anyways. Um, he's just going to have some three-ball looks, and I just think he easily gets to 20 points. He probably scores 25 or more, but – it's Dame. You never know. He could have a cold night, but his volume alone should get him to 20 points and a great matchup. So that's the Friday parlay. Dame 20 plus. Miles Bridges. That's Miles Bridges of the Hornets, by the way. Double double and Buddy Heald under five and a half assists. That's at plus 305 on DraftKings. So those are the two best bets and the Friday parlay. We are so due. My goodness. We we need some winners. We just absolutely do. Ask my wife. She wants us to get some winners because she doesn't like my mood right now. But um. Anyways, that's what we got. Any added plays will be in the pinned comments below. They will be on X and on Discord. Let's check out the bets recap. All right, we started out with the Pelicans, minus 7 at minus 110 on DraftKings, and then DeJounte Murray of the Hawks, under 23.5 points. It's been a while since we had an under. Uh, that's at minus 113 on FanDuel. By the way, I, I thought about a Jalen Brunson under points too because he may be a little bit on limited minutes if he does play. If he doesn't play, it's just a voided ticket. But uh, tough matchup for him against the Orlando Magic. So just a thought, uh, Jalen Brunson. But I went with DeJounte Murray. And then the Friday parlay, Buddy Heald under assist, Miles Bridges double-double, and Damian Lillard 20-plus points. I know it's been a rough couple weeks, guys. We've had a great season up until the last few weeks. We're going to work our butts off to turn this around. Uh, we research long into the night every single night because we want to get you guys some winners, get you guys some research help and things like that. So I appreciate everybody for uh, taking time out of their day to watch these videos, leave comments, hit the like button. Um, you guys are freaking awesome. So I hope you all have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon.